So even if you don't know chemistry, just take a deep breath and, and trust me when I say you will be able to understand this, okay? Now, again, they're molecules, but here we're drawing them as little colored uh, pictures. So we have four different, what we call nucleotide bases. They're just fancy words for four different uh, sort of sub-molecules that make up DNA. One's called adenine. Uh, here in this, it's a kind of a yellowish color. One's called thymine, one's called guanine, and one's called cytosine. All right, now one thing I want to draw your attention to here is that all of the bases, the, the nucleotide bases, they appear inside the double helix. So they're kind of like the rungs of the ladder connecting one side of the phosphate backbone to the other. But notice that in the middle, you always have two different nucleotide pairs. Notice purple here is thymine, and that one's connected to adenine. And then here is a, sort of a deeper purple here, guanine, connected to the red one, or the pink one called cytosine. And if you look down through here, the purple is always connected to, uh, uh, to the uh, yellow one here, yellow, purple, uh, purple, yellow, yellow, purple, purple, yellow, yellow, purple, like this. So what we have learned is that adenine, we're gonna abbreviate it with the letter A, so we don't have to say adenine the whole time. Adenine is always connected and always bonds to, I'm gonna put a little double arrow here, the thymine. And then if you notice, everywhere you have a deep purple, it's always connected to pink. Deep purple, pink, uh, uh, deep purple, pink, uh, deep purple, pink, deep purple, pink, and so on. It could go the other way, uh, pink, deep purple, and so on. So we also know that the guanines are connected to the cytosines. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.